Good morning, everybody. It's a rainy, cool morning out here. I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama. I'm out here in Jurassic Park, and I've got a couple of quick videos coming up. This one's going to be talking about how to keep poop out of your chicken run. So good morning, everybody. Happy summer. Um, I found recently that I'm getting some of the same questions on my YouTube videos. I always try to respond to comments quickly, but I figured this is coming up and uh, just frequently, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a video. When you are out in your chicken run, how do you keep the poop down from stinking, from being a problem, from being all over the place? Now, I'm not talking about the chicken coop, I have a whole playlist here about how I keep my coop clean, the materials that I use, what chicken chores look like, how I deep clean the coop a few times a year. So you could check out that playlist up here and then I'll be linking those various videos throughout this video. But out in your chicken run, of course, like, you know, you're gonna have dirt. Unfortunately, I still have lots of rocks here that we're removing little by little. But how do you keep the poop down? That's also gonna be a problem with flies, right? And it just smells and it's just gross. Your chickens poop all the time. <laughs> so it's a never-ending battle. Um, I'll be honest, I do not come out here and scoop up the poop like if you think about using like a cat litter scoop or a rake and shoveling it and using it somewhere. So I'm just going to dispel that. I don't do that. You certainly can. There's nothing wrong with that, especially if you have like a compost bin where you want the poop to break down so you could use it back with your plants and with your gardens, but I don't do that. So here are three easy things you can do and you can pick one, two, or all three. And y'all know me, I don't like to send you guys out to spend a whole bunch of money on stuff you don't need. So the three things that I do, number one is I use water. Um, here in South Texas, we've gotten more rain than normal, but there's often dry periods where we don't get any rain. When I come out here with the hose to water the plants that are out here, of course, to fill up their pool and give them fresh water, I will find those bigger areas of chicken droppings. She's running off with it. They have marinated tomatoes this morning because they have such a difficult life. Um, so I'll come out and if I see like a bigger zone of poop, I will start just agitating it with water. What we're trying to do, basically what I do is I don't remove the poop from out here because they're outside animals like poop is inevitable. Um, what I try to do is increase the speed at which it breaks down when it goes back to the earth because that's what's gonna be what keeps the flies away and what keeps the smell down and et cetera. It's not so gonna hurt the chicken's feet, anything like that. The second thing, is even simpler in my opinion get a rake get a shovel get a something and just come around and stir up the ground i i like to use the word agitating because that's what we're doing we're increasing the breakdown of you know poop or food or um you know anything else that's out here by just moving things around and so that could be as easy as i'm just going to rake up a certain section um, where the chickens hang out a lot you can make little piles you know if you've got dirt mulch leaves things like that you know that the chickens go crazy when you give them a little pile of something a little mound of of sand or whatever so I use a rake and I'll come out regularly and I will agitate everything unfortunately and I've done videos on this before when we bought this house this was a perfect little piece of land back here for the chicken run but it was full of rocks and I've taken out hundreds of pounds of rocks little by little but of course they're still everywhere so part of the reason I have to rake is because I try to rake them back over to the corners and of course you can see over time the chickens dig everything back out so the first one is use water the second one is use a rake or a shovel and it doesn't have to be perfect but what you're trying to do is just hit that poop with something, with water, with a shovel, whatever, and making it break down faster. I don't have a smell out here. I normally don't have a problem with flies. I do this morning because we just got rain at dawn and it's completely still and humid and nasty out here. But normally flies are not a problem with us at all. The third thing that you can do, I mean, just admire my plants for a second. That's the third thing you can do. Okay. Now, really, the third thing that you can do to help minimize poop, and again, we're minimizing the smell and we're minimizing the fly problem in your chicken run, is by putting some extra ground cover, some ground material. And this goes along with using the water and using a rake. I recommend, and we've been talking about it on the channel comments a lot recently, by using mulch. Um, you can also get peat moss. You can get cheap, like, construction sand. Um, and we're back. I apologize that this video is ending up being lots of clips. We have a ton of planes going by this morning. So the third tip is putting some extra ground material out here, which benefits everything else because the chickens will dig around in it more and that will help the poop break down faster and et cetera, et cetera. Things like mulch, you can find mulch. Um, I know at least in the United States, I'm sure in other countries too, a lot of big cities will, when they go and chop down trees or they remove trees from you know businesses or they're trimming trees for neighborhoods or whatever, you can go and get that mulch for 
for free. It's basically like show up with your own truck and we're not gonna like package it for you. We're not gonna deliver it, but if you wanna come get it, you can have it for free. Um, I try to avoid, I'm gonna talk through this plane. I try to avoid mulch that has a lot of dyes on it. Um, and I like the mulch that's been broken down. It's been shredded twice just because it's just smaller pieces. But mulch is really great. It's really cheap. It does help with the smell. Um, it does help keep the ground cool if you have to worry about hot summers. Other options are that you could also use cheap sand. Don't get the really nice, um, the really rounded out perfect like play sand. This is not something for your kids to put in the sandbox. It's a cheap sand. So coarse sand, construction sand, concrete sand, um, obviously not the actual concrete, but you want the imperfect sand. You could put that out here. I don't like using sand out in the open run because I, I don't like it when it gets wet, but a lot of people do like it. I love peat moss. Peat moss is incredibly soft. It's incredibly absorbent. It will be the priciest out of these three options, but it's really, really great. So the three things that I do to keep the flies at bay and to keep the smell down um, from chicken droppings in your chicken run again is I use water to spray things down on a regular basis I use a rake to just move the material around move the droppings around to help it break down more quickly and then there are other materials that you can add if you want you certainly don't have to do any of these things but I don't have any problems with smell I don't have any problems with flies and that is why 